It's a good video for once. For once. Just wanted some positive. Just want to put some positive vibes out there. Those are my positive vibes. <laughs> so I had my first uh, follow-up doctor's appointment. Checked in with him. I uh, I brought I brought I've been documenting my blood sugar levels every day, morning and night. There was about a week that I didn't get any um any results because I wasn't able to do uh, any of the testing because of my because the pharmacy was being stupid. Yeah, I think it was my last video or the one before that. But uh, you know, I got that sorted out. Um, been documenting my blood sugar levels. They've steadily been dropping. And about, about five days ago or so, I had my first sub 100. So, I've been monitoring my blood sugar levels, and they've been dropping. The optimal range is in between 60 and 100, or 60 and 99. And about five days ago, it was at 99. The first time it's ever dropped below 100 into the optimal range for normal human beings. Um, so I took my results. I was hoping that they would have like a machine. I could just plug my device in and they would just upload the results. But I had been writing it down on paper and I showed my doctor and I told him, you know, my, about my diet change I'm trying to change my metabolism a little bit, eating smaller meals multiple times a day. I strive to eat six times a day. Not big-ass meals. I can't. My stomach has shrunk so much. If I tried to eat a full plate, like a full meal, I'd just throw it up. Um, I told him about no sugar whatsoever, no sweets, no cookies, no candies, no cereal, no, uh, no nothing. No, no soda, nothing nothing um i have entire meals where i eat nothing but veggies a lot of times um same thing with carbs carbs equals sugar so sugars and shit are out of the question so are you know um breads and pastries and stuff like that uh, my real achilles heel right now is tortillas because i love mexican food that's pretty much the only real carbalicious source of carbs that I have at all is tortillas every once in a while I'll have like a small like little burrito with some cheese on it or something like that um and he saw the results for himself and he was really proud of me he said that I was a proof of concept he said he had a lot of uh, diabetic patients and they're not doing so well and he's got to get on them more but I was just diagnosed like a like a like a month and a half ago and I lost 15 pounds I actually, well, I lost, I, I think I lost more than that in fat, but I'm starting to gain a little bit back uh, in muscle because I've been working out too, my upper body, um, I'm not like a, a powerhouse or nothing like, I can't fucking, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty good all up in here, you know, my tits are going away, I t can't even tell I got tits anymore, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm doing really well. According to the doctor, I was afraid I'd go back there and he'd say, yeah, you gotta, then and then, you know, you know how doctors are. Ne never good enough. You always got to be doing more. And I suppose that's true. But this was a good one. This was a good life win, uh, considering. So I was hoping this would be a blessing in disguise that I could just get a little bit better in shape, eat healthier. Sometimes, though, I really want something i really want a snack i really want like a snickers bar or a bowl of cereal or a fucking milkshake or just some booze i've been cutting cutting down the booze too i have a shot every once in a while every once in a while i'll have a shot and it'll fuck me up too because <laughs> i i essentially don't drink anymore but been exercising on the wing ding this guy been using it so much i'm over 500 miles total the thing reset because I had to swap out the batteries for it, but uh, 500 miles total so far. 
been doing good and my doctor was really pleased he used the phrase proof of concept that um someone can in fact start turning things around he said he had big huge giant fat patients uh that have all these problems and some of them are doing better than others he didn't violate confidentiality or anything like that he was very vague but he just said that he had patients um that just weren't doing as good and weren't doing what they were supposed to and didn't kind of half did everything my doctor was like like oh you could you could have some of this and you could put some sugar in your coffee and you could and i was telling him like no, i can't because what will happen is i'll do it the once and then i'll just do want to do it every time or i'll make that concession i'll be like well I'm just going to put sugar in my coffee, and that'll be my my only time I have sugar. But it won't be. I'll make that concession, and then I'll do it. And I know how I am. I know how I am. That's not how things are going to be. But I had a little bowl of cereal last night. I was craving something. And I, I had a bowl of cereal. <laughs> it was so good, and it skyrocketed my blood sugar back up to 170 <laughs> still that wasn't nearly as bad as it used to be um it used to be almost 300 i think when i went in to get my blood draw when they were trying to figure out you know what was wrong with me before i even was diagnosed my blood sugar levels was uh 290 so but i'm doing better i'm healthier uh, i feel better I just have so much more energy. I'm not drowsy and lethargic all the time. Um, sex has been better. That's... I'd bring it. I'd, I'd bring it in the bedroom. I, I always have. You know, I never phoned it in. But it's just easier to bring it now. It's just easier to bring it now. And, like I said, I lost 20 pounds of... 15 pounds of fat it's all i gained at least an inch <laughs> i gained at least an inch my wife's been liking that <laughs> um just been healthier feeling better it's starting to get into winter time here deep fall so i've been going outside less walking around outside less but i got the wing ding here um just been doing better overall and i just wanted to give a small update if y'all were interested on how that diabetes is going it's going pretty well it's been going pretty well outside of other things i got other problems i got other shit i got to deal with if you um saw my last video but all that other bullshit aside it's been going pretty good on the health front and i plan on keeping it up <sighs> well there's your fucking update <laughs>